Yes, sir, what's poppin'? It's your boy, D-Boy Henry Hank, back at it again with another video. And today, we'll be discussing the bad, quote, unquote, of the PvP inside of Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. I'm gonna get straight on into it. I ain't got no time to waste. You understand what I'm saying? First and foremost, the lack of modes, right? We have three modes. We have a free-for-all type. I mean, not a free-for-all. We have a... TDM style mode, a headquarter style mode, and a domination style mode. Um, more often times than not, you're going to either be playing the TDM style mode called Annihilation, which is cool. It's fun. It's cool. But I would just like to see a little bit more variety. So when you pick quick match, um, it cycles through a lot more than, you know, you have a, a, a few more options, you know, like perhaps even a free for all type mode, a capture the flag type mode or even a big team battle type mode i think a big team battle type mode would be awesome i think it would be hella fun and instead of you know how you have the two class limitation you can move that on up to maybe four or five you know what i mean depending upon however many you want to get inside of the the map or the match and of course you would have to devise bigger spaces in order for those particular big team battle style matches to take place which leads into the next negative i have about the game which is the lack of maps right now it's about three maps and the maps themselves are cool they are quite different from one another um but at the same time they are quite same you know if that, if that makes some sense like the layout of them is is, is different you know what i mean it's different it's a cute a few a few different structures in, uh to look at and you know make plays around etc but i would like to see a lot more or even a few more because three is is pretty pretty small this is that's a pretty minuscule amount and with the environments that they have inside of the single player campaign they could they could i feel like they could make some shake you know what i mean they can make some shake and i do think there is another map on the horizon um to be given out to the people but as for right now you you don't have that map. you know what i mean for right now you just got the three that we got and again, they're cool, but at the same time, I would like to see a little more variety to spice things up. You know, variety of the spice, variety of the spice of life, as it were. You know what I mean? And moving on, another negative that I have is you cannot switch shoulders. As far as if you see right here, I'm looking over the right side. I think every every class looks over the right side, and so you're only able to peek from the right side of like objects. It, you, if you were to peek around a corner or peek around the wall it's gonna be from that right side it makes it kind of predictable so the enemy always pretty much knows where you're going you know peek from or if you do peek from the other side you're gonna put yourself at a disadvantage because you're gonna be shooting that corner you know what i mean so you really gotta make it a point to peek from the right side approach the objects from the right side because otherwise you're gonna be shooting at a corner and the enemy may be able to squeeze off a few shots at you why are you trying to do that? Because you're going to just be hitting corners. And don't nobody want to hit corners. It's not a good look. And it can be quite, quite annoying, if I'm being honest. Next up is the parry does not interrupt like it does inside of the campaign or when you're parrying a NPC. Um, when you have a, like, a, if you have like a bulwark coming at you, swinging swords and, you know, getting that melee on. It's really nothing you can do except back up or attempt, you roll away. You can try to melee and get into your combos, but more often times than not, you're gonna lose that exchange every single time. Even when a Vanguard comes to drop kick, you, you just gotta you just gotta tough it out. You just gotta deal with it. You know what I mean? You gotta deal with it. And if you got a shot grenade, throw that joint at the ground, back up, they'll be slow, and then at which point you'll better lay down some pain and destruction, but you're only limited to one grenade, so if you've already used it, you're cooked. You you just cooked yourself. And these, they don't. They they will have the Vanguard packed out. They will have the assault class packed out. So you really only got one opportunity unless you just scrounge around the map. And maybe you can pick up a piece of equipment, uh, namely the grenades off of the ground. But you know, I would like to see. I like. I would like to have some more options. See, watch this. This here we go. You know, I caught him in. I caught him with the people's elbow right there. But, you know, I would like to have some more melee options as far as defense instead of, you know, just having to escape, especially as a heavy class because 
we got to use what we got. You know, we swinging, as you've seen, we swinging with the gun. And, you know, it doesn't do as, as much damage. And even when you get into your combos, more often times than not, you're going to lose. I was fortunate enough at that, at that, what just happened. I was just fortunate. You know what I mean? That I was able to make something shake right there. And, you know, that's that's pretty much about it so far from what I have about the game. You know, I've been having a ton of fun. I've been, like, like I say, most of my hours are inside of the PvP. So, you know, I, I might have I might have missed some stuff if y'all could think of something and y'all playing some PvP. Feel free to drop it down below. You know what I mean? Because from, from where I'm at, those things I listed are the major hang-ups you know i would like to see i would also like to see maybe some events in order to you know get some experience and, and faster because i did say that i do feel the uh, xp payout and ranking up and progression is it's on the slow side it's on the slow side you know i've been i put, I put a lot of hours into this and i'm still on veteran level like 12. and alternatively one of the homies uh, he has been on it on it and he's kind of he up there. He got almost all the unlocks you can get so far. But he's like, that's all day. That's what he's been doing since the game came out. You know what I mean? So I would like to see some some uh, some some kind of form of, you know, rapid XP payout. Even though I do understand that this is not a PvP first game and it's, a, it's you know, a campaign first game and then you got other things that, you know, you can jump into after you've beaten it after you beat the campaign so they may have they just may not care enough to add that kind of stuff um past what they're doing as far as laying out with the road map and showing us what we're getting but you know and it's cool too i appreciate that because again this is not a, a pvp multiplayer focused game first you know and i appreciate the full package of them giving us all this stuff in order to dive into after we beat the campaign but it's just a couple of things a couple of things i've noticed a couple of things i like to see added into the game you feel what i'm saying i'm not gonna keep it too much longer that's all i got for you right now i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one i'll come